One of the many really cool features of Joomla is Smart Search. Now, prior versions of Joomla have included a core search function that's still available, and the Smart Search feature is not the default search method for Joomla, and it's disabled when an instance is first launched. Smart Search was first introduced in Joomla 2.5, and with it, users were able to create content maps in search filters so only part of a Joomla instance was searchable. This tutorial is going to demonstrate the complete functionality of Smart Search, and we're going to break it down into several steps. The first step is to enable the Smart Search plugin. So let's go to the back end of this Joomla instance to do that. In the back end, let's go to Extensions and Plugin Manager we're going to search for the Smart Search plugin. So I'll search for Smart. What we're looking for is this Content Smart Search plugin, and I'll go ahead and enable it. The next step after the plugin is enabled is to index our content through the Smart Search component. So we'll go to Components here and select Smart Search. Not Search, but Smart Search. Notice how none of our content has been indexed. We need to first click the Index button in the upper menu to start indexing that content. Now, we don't have a very large site, so it's not going to take too long to index this content. You'll see the progress bar here, and you'll get a notification when the index is done. You should get used to this process, because every time you add content to your Joomla site, you'll have to re-index the Smart Search content to work within your Smart Search module. Notice now that our indexing is complete, and it's safe to close this window. Once we close the window, we'll see all of our index content, and notice there is a type of content that is indexed, articles, categories, and tags. The next step is to create our module. So first we're going to go to System and Control Panel to get to the main administration area. In just a moment, we'll go to the Module Manager, and I'll show you how to create that module. But first, let's visit our Protostar module map so we can pick a position for our Smart Search module. I'm going to pick position 0 here. This was actually built for the Smart Search feature, and you'll see when we create the module that position 0 is also called Search. In the back end again, we'll open up our Module Manager, and I'll click on the New button to create a new module. When selecting the module type, make sure that you're selecting Smart Search Module and not Search. Remember, there is an older search feature. Be sure to select Smart Search Module and create a title for that module. We're just going to call ours Search. Next, let's pick the position for this module. We'll go ahead and scroll all the way down to Protostar and select the position 0, which is also called Search. Once the position is selected, notice here how you can apply a filter to the Smart Search module. We'll talk about filters and content maps in just a minute. For now, let's go ahead and save this module. Before we return to the front end, though, let's go to Menu Assignment. I'm going to leave this module on all pages. I think that's appropriate to have this feature on all pages. Returning to the front end will refresh the page, and notice in the upper right-hand corner we have our search feature. Let's go ahead and search for a term. I'll search for Classes. Once I search for that, my search results will be displayed on the page. And notice how categories are indexed, and there's also a URL there, and an article is also appearing with article text and a URL as well. Returning to the back end, we can also create a Smart Search menu item. We'll go ahead and save and close this module, and then we'll go to Menus, Main Menu, Add New Menu Item. Let's title this Search, and then we'll select the Smart Search menu item type. Again, make sure you're selecting Smart Search and Search here. Notice how you can select a filter here through the menu item as well. We'll talk about this in just a little bit. We'll make sure that this is saved on our main menu and then click Save. We'll return to the front end and refresh the page, and our content should still be indexed. But if I scroll up, notice that on our side menu here, and on our main menu, we have the search feature. Opening that up, we get a search window, and we also get the advanced search feature. Let's go ahead and type in a new search term. We'll look for art. 
Once we search for that, we'll see that both categories and articles are listed in our search results. The last thing we'll discuss is how to create content maps and search filters and how to apply those to your modules and menu item. So returning to the back end, we'll save and close this menu item and we'll return to the Smart Search component. Inside the component, off to the left side, notice how you have a content maps menu item. In this area, you can view, enable, or disable content for certain authors, categories, contacts, etc. Use the filter off to the left side to filter through which type of content you'd like to create a map for. Here we're searching just for categories and we're going to disable the Art Gallery Tours category. By doing this, we're telling the component not to index this category. We can also create a search filter and apply that filter to our menu item and the module we created. To create a new filter, click on the New button and add a title. We'll call this filter Art Classes because we're going to filter by a category. But notice here in your tabs you also have the filter timeline where you can adjust your filter for different periods of time. Now you can filter by author, category, language, region, or type. We'll select category and filter just for art classes. Let's go ahead and save and close this filter and apply them to our module and menu item. Applying that filter to the module or menu item is very similar, so we'll just apply it to our module. We'll open up our module manager and then open up our search module. Notice now how in the filter area we can select that art classes filter. If we saved our work here, the only information the user could find on the front end through Smart Search is information in the art classes category. This is a complex component and it does take some time to learn how to use all the features correctly. The next tutorial, the very last tutorial in this series, will show you how to delete any unneeded content that comes with your Joomla instance.